Good afternoon, everyone. Saturday afternoon, uh, probably around 4.30. Now, I know that you won't see this until Wednesday, but I just thought that I would make a video this time of me waxing the Fusion. I actually waxed it a couple weeks back. There was a video that I made at the college uh, the day after... Uh, yeah, it was the day after I waxed it, and I just thought that I would go ahead and do it again. It's a hot one today. It's probably 95 degrees. But here in the shade, it's not so bad. Uh, humidity isn't horrible. I've seen worse. We've had better. But it's not the worst in the world. I will survive. I'm just using turtle wax today. Uh, I've used several different types. I guess my absolute all-time favorite is Meguiar's. It has a real good, long-lasting shine. It's durable. Of course, now the turtle wax is not quite so long-lasting, but it's not bad. Of course, way back in the 90s when I was a teenager, I was a big believer in that rain dance. I don't even think they make that anymore. It's getting about time to start a new cloth. I've already waxed the entire passenger side with this cloth. I usually do like a side per cloth, so yeah, it's getting time to retire this one. This has waxed probably three or four vehicles, so it's probably ready to be retired altogether. Let's see, that was about my final, my finishing point on that side. Move bug. Yeah, bugs are bad this year. Winter was kind of mild and wet, so bugs are at a max I used to use this turtle wax on the flex yeah I've waxed the flex before oh man you talk about a job that was a job but yeah, it seemed like it's hotter this morning. The humidity was worse this morning than it is now. It was pretty rough. I started a new cloth in on this side. No, I mean, it's not really new. It's worked on a few vehicles also. Neighbor's dogs, you hear? This is really all it's involved with just a wax job. Just wipe on and wipe off. If you got real bad paint, it's been neglected, you could buff it. But something like this, you don't really need to buff it. And plus, if you don't know what you're doing, you can really burn some paint up if you're not careful. That's why you won't see me doing any buffing videos. Because I'm not going to encourage anyone to go out and damage their paint. All right, the hood is done. I remember back in 1995, I was 18 years old, and my dad had a 1985 Mercury Grand Marquis. And it was just a 
same one as they all were, you know. 5.0 V8 AOD transmission. Uh, well, it was gray with gray interior. Well, everyone knows the experiences with gray paint back in the 80s, early to mid 90s. It just wasn't any count. Uh, it would fade and peel and everything else after just a matter of no time, actually. Well, anyway, all the paint on it had faded to a all the gloss, the shine in it, had just faded. Well, and it still had, you know, decent paint itself on it. It just needed to be brought back out. Well, I told Dad, I'm just going to buff that out. And of course, he was, you know, okay, well, go ahead. Well, he had a buffer. He had a power buffer. And I went and bought a can of compound, polishing compound to restore the paint. And I went to work on it. Well, I got halfway down the driver's side and his buffer burned up. So I didn't know what to do. I didn't really have the money at the time to go and buy a new buffer. No one I knew had one that would loan me. So I thought, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do this by hand. And that's what I did. I buffed the whole car by hand just like you see me doing here. Uh, it took probably about three days because I could only do like a small section at a time. Then when I got that section, I had to come over here and start another section. Then I come over here, I can only do like a, a six by six section at a time. Then I went over it with wax. The car looked great when I got done with it. It looked almost brand new. My gosh, I think I lost 15 pounds doing it. <laughs> I also have a special observer here watching to make sure I do the job correctly. Uh, Titus, uh, yes, everyone meet Titus. Uh, and am I doing the job correctly? And he's like, I don't know, let me scratch behind my ear since you won't do it. <laughs> finish up on this side yeah, in fact I've already gotten to the point where it's all it's left is the glass now yeah off camera I went ahead and finished the rest of the body the roof the back the front balance and everything the wheels Just kind of rub over it until you see all the streaks disappear. And it should be good. It looks good from here anyway. Uh, there's a spot down there. There we go. I like to do the back glass also. Because when it rains, uh, it all splashes up on the back window. And you can't see. This kind of helps it run off a little bit better. It worked great on the flex. By the way, I looked at another one here recently. Um, it was the same color as this, actually. And it had black leather interior. And it was sold before I could get up to call about it. And last weekend I went to Walmart and I saw it sitting in the parking lot, so I knew it was it. I've always loved rain eggs. I've actually got to make a trip to the store after a while. I might actually drive this rather than one of the trucks. My red truck, I haven't been driving it so much lately. 
Uh, it needs a mirror on the driver's side. And it finally give out, it wants to flop over, and I just never have had a chance to get one for it. I'm actually just going to order a new set for both sides. Okay, now I'm just going to crack the windows a little bit. They don't have to be much. Just enough where you can get to the outer edge. Good old newspaper. And this is some soap and water that I've mixed up on my own that I use a clean glass with. And I'll just go over that top edge. And hit the side. And go ahead and polish it out. So all the streaks disappear. Hit this little miniature window. Polish it out. So the streaks disappear. All right, then you do the same thing on the passenger side, and you roll the windows up, and you can do the whole side. It don't take a whole lot. That Bronco I had was a royal job cleaning the windows and it, it had a lot of glass. But it was easy to get to, so it wasn't too bad. All right, you just spray it on and take the newspaper, wipe it down until all the streaks disappear. Looks great. Earlier in the day, I went ahead and did the interior, vacuumed it and cleaned the seats, vacuumed the seats off and went ahead and sprayed the dash down and everything. So it wasn't real all that bad. I mean, just two weeks ago, I cleaned it already. Well, there was a breeze blowing, but once it died down, that's when it really got hot. And now sweat's pouring off of me and I'm not even doing anything. Okay, well, I finished waxing it. I went ahead and put some Black Magic tire wet on the tires and sprayed a little Ultra Pro Shine on all the black plastic, make it all stand out. And I am done. I am calling it a day. I think I put about five hours into it. Somewhere along in there, I'm not really sure. I've stopped a couple of times, so I'm not exact. But anyway, so it looks good so far. Uh, just basic turtle wax and black magic products. Always like black magic. It's, I've always had good results out of it. Black magic used to make a wax, but it's not available in my area anymore. I don't even know if it's any made, but it used to be real good. I liked it. Well, anyway, hope everyone's having a good week and thanks for